Before we start our discussion on the story Sunshine Susan, let me tell you the story of a deaf frog. Once upon a time, a group of frogs decided to have a contest. The challenge was to climb to the top of a super tall tower. A bunch of frogs came to watch their friends compete, but most of them did not think that it was possible for any frog to reach the top. As the race started, most of the frogs competing began to lose hope and quit because they heard the negative comments. But one frog kept going, climbing higher and higher. This frog put in a lot of efforts and never gave up. In the end, that determined frog made it to the top of the tower. The other frogs were amazed and wanted to know how this frog did it. One of them asked the winning frog, how did you manage to reach the top? That was when they found out that the frog who owned the race could not hear anything as he was deaf. The moral of the story is to ignore negative comments and not let them hold you back. Hi everyone, this is Roni Datta from OnlineFinos.com. Before we begin the discussion, if you are looking for questions and answers related to this story, check out the description or visit our website OnlineFinos.com, where we provide solutions for different subjects of different classes across different boats in India. With that being said, let's jump into the story. Susan lived in a small village called Sabato with her mother, father, elder brother Sandy and grandmother. They lived in a beautiful little house by the river, built by Susan's grandfather. Susan was an energetic and fit young girl, always helping her mother with chores and running in the hills every day. Her father was a beekeeper who would occasionally take her brother Sandy to the market to sell honey. Susan was eager to learn and wanted to join her father and brother at the market, but her father insisted that it was not a girl's job. Her parents could not afford to send her to college and believed that as a girl she should get married soon and start a family. Susan loved learning and was passionate about going to college. When her parents told her that they could not afford to pay for her education, Susan did not give up. She decided to take matters in her own hands and find a way to fund her college. One day, while talking to her beloved November tree, Susan had a brilliant idea. Susan approached her father at the bee farm and asked him if she could work there to earn money for college. Her father was hesitant, but Mrs. Andrew, the wife of the farm owner who overheard their conversation, encouraged him to let Susan work, recognizing her passion for education. From that day, she began working at the bee farm. Susan faced many challenges as she learned the art of beekeeping, from the dangers of getting stung to understanding the behavior of bees. Susan remained steadfast in her determination. Over time, she became an expert beekeeper and started her own little bee farm with her earnings and created her brand Susan Honey. Her Susan Honey soon became popular among the villagers and Susan's determination and hard work had paid off as she was finally able to attend college. Despite the villagers' disapproval, Susan remained focused on her education and refused to let their words affect her. She remembered her grandmother's story of the deaf frog who owned the race because he could not hear the discouragement from the onlookers. When her uncle gifted her a motorbike, she learned to ride it despite the ridicule from her brother and his friends. Little did she know that this skill would save her mother's life one day. One fateful day, tragedy stuck when Susan's mother was bitten by a venomous snake. With no other transportation available and the nearest hospital being 6 kilometers away, Susan was faced with a life or death situation. In a dramatic display of courage, Susan decided to take her mother to the hospital on her motorbike. She quickly tied a tourniquet to slow the spread of venom and secured her mother to herself with a thick rope. With her heart pounding, Susan embarked on the most crucial journey of her life. Racing against time, Susan managed to reach the hospital just at the right time, saving her mother's life. Her bravery, determination and unwavering self-belief showed everyone around her the power of courage and the importance of never giving up. Thus, Susan became known as Sunshine Girl. The story of Sunshine Susan teaches us an important lesson. Believe in yourself and follow your heart, even when others doubt you. Susan's determination and resilience allowed her to overcome obstacles and achieve her dreams. 
if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for such videos do check out onlinefinos.com and as always thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video